In today's video, I want to talk about why Divi is the best theme for bloggers. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link in the video description below, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you from scratch how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so um, let's dive in and let's talk about the reasons why I think Divi is the best theme for bloggers. All right, so over here, before we continue, I'd like to remind you as well that if you try Divi and you're not happy with it, they can give you a refund within 30 days. And as you can see here on the Trustpilot, this is a five-star rating. So it is a theme that is very popular. In fact, it's been installed on over half a million websites out there. So it's very, very powerful. All right. Now, this obviously comes with a price. So we have uh, two licenses here. So we have the yearly access. Now, this yearly access gives you updates throughout the whole year until you uh, renew it. But of course, you don't have to renew it. And if you don't renew it, it doesn't mean that your website gets taken offline. It still continues to run. The only difference is you won't get the updates that, uh, that come if you don't renew. Now, there's also this option here, and this is my favorite. For 249 you get a lifetime access. So pretty much you buy this once and that's it. You're going to continue to get updates forever. Right, so over here on my site, I've gone ahead and installed Divi on my website. Now, the next feature or the next reason why I think Divi is best for uh, bloggers is they have what is known as A-B testing. So let's say you create a landing page and you want to know which, uh, which one is responding more to your audience. Well, you can come over here and create what is known as A-B testing. So you can do that by just um, coming, in fact, over here, let's just change the background. So I'm just gonna come over here and uh, change that background to something different. So let's say this is a gardening blog, okay? So that's the image that I'm going to use. Now with A-B testing, what you can do is you can go in and test different titles to see which one uh, people are responding to. You can also do this with sections. Pretty much, you know, you can use this however you want. So I just wanna do a quick example just to show you how this works. All right, so I've gone ahead and changed my image here. So let's say I wanna see how people respond to, to this title here. So I can just right click and then choose split test. I'm gonna click okay and now, my goal is to see how many people click on this button. So you can see this circle here as I move my mouse. So this is our goal. This is what's gonna measure how our split test is going to work. So if I click here, I'm gonna say, okay. And now you notice that we have, in fact, you can't see it yet, but we have two versions over here now. So the best way I use this is to go into our editor here and choose wireframe mode. So over here in wireframe mode, we see our two examples. So this is where you can go in and change the title of this top one here. So let's go in and do that. So I'm gonna come over here and then I'm gonna say best flowers for winter. There we go. So that's gonna be my first title. I wanna save that. Now I'm gonna go into the next one. I mean the second one. So for this one here, I'm gonna say recommended flowers for winter. There we go. So I'm gonna save that. And then I'm just gonna switch over here to my visual editor. So now we have this landing page. Let me save this. So what's gonna happen now is you are going to get 50% of people seeing the top, I mean the uh, one version and 50% of people seeing the second version. So when you run your website, in fact, I would recommend you run this for, for about a week or so, depending on how much traffic you get to your website. So let's say we save this and then uh, refresh. Okay. so. 50% of people are going to see this one here, the best flowers for winter. And then uh, the other ones are going to see the recommended um, flowers for winter. Now, if you wanna go in and check and see the performance of which title has more uh, visitors than the others and which one has people been taking more action over the other, you click here on these little bars that are bouncing here. So if you click that, this takes you now into your stats. Now, right now, of course, we don't have any stats because we haven't run it on a live. So this is where you get how many people have clicked the button. You also get to see how many people have read it, how many bounces. And if you set out your goals, you can also see the goal engagement. Now, this feature here is very, very powerful. And I don't know if any page builder out there that has this feature 
built in. And for bloggers, it is very, very important because there are going to be cases where we're going to be testing our landing pages, our titles, and so on to see which one is performing better. Because of course, the goal of having a blog is to run it as a business. And this is how you get to see what is performing better. Measuring is very, very, very important. So the second reason why I think Divi is the best uh, theme out there for bloggers is it has a very easy to use UI. So let me show you what I mean. So over here, we're going to start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm just going to call this test and then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So at first, when you take a look at this, it gives you three options. So that means you can use pre-made layouts and they are beautiful pre-made layouts. In fact, that's also a feature, by the way. And you can also build your pages from scratch. So if you want to build beautiful landing pages, this is where I would come. I would come over here to these pre-made layouts and then I could choose landing pages from here. And there's quite a lot of them, to be honest, and different designs. So whatever design you choose here, in fact, here's the one that we um, that I used in the first example, you can choose pretty much any landing, any landing page and then go in and customize it. So let's, uh, let's go with this one here. Okay, so you can see you can have a quick preview of what it looks like. And then you can just click on use this layout. Now, once you've chosen that layout, it installs all the elements that it needs for that page. And then you can go in and exchange those images and the text with your own. And it is very, very easy to do as I'm, as I'm going to show you in a, for, in, a in a moment. All right, so now that uh, it has been installed, you can now go in and change your images. Now, as you can see, our website here is, um, Okay, let's create a blog. You can go in here and uh, take a look at how this was constructed. So if I come over here, I can see this is the image that we have here on the background. I can go in and straight away change it and use my own. So let's say I'm gonna add this mower here, upload image, and right away you can see I've just added my image in there. And then the next stage is to go in and change my text, change my colors, and to change your text, you can just go in, highlight it, and just start typing just like that. And if you want to change the color of the text, you can just go into design or you can click on this brush tool and then change your font here if you want to. So let's say you want to use Poppins as your font. There we go. And let's say you want to change the color to white and uh, make it all caps. You can make it bold if you want to as well. So over here, you can choose your font choose ultra bold. So as you can see, it is very, very easy to use. I can even add drop shadows if I need to, to make it really stand out from the background. So it is very, very easy to, uh, to use. You can go in and change all these colors, all the links and change all these images. And as you can see, as I mentioned before, the UI is very, very easy to use. If you mouse over anything here, you can just click on this gear icon and then it takes you into the item that you wanna make changes to. Now, the next feature I'm gonna talk about is really, really powerful. So let's say you, um, you want to design a specific layout for your blog. You can take time out and use the theme builder. Now I've gone ahead and created a template, which basically, transforms your blog if you're just starting off or even if you have an existing website. Now, let me show you how it works. So over here, I'm gonna come back over to my blog here. I'm gonna save and exit. So let's take a look at our homepage here. So when we uh, go to our homepage, you notice that you have this uh, basic layout and you have these posts. So if I go to this blog post, you can see here, it looks very standard. It works, but of course, let's say you wanna make it look even more stylish. This is where templates come in. So I've gone ahead and created a template that's, uh, that I'm selling for $19. But of course, you can create your own and I have tutorials on how to create your own templates. But the reason why I'm illustrating this point is you can buy templates and quickly transform your blog into something that's really amazing. So I'm sure you can agree with me that this is a basic layout. Now let's go in and let's add a template. So I'm just gonna open this in a new tab here, and then I'm gonna come all the way down here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. So as you can see here, we have nothing in here. So the pages I want you to, to pay attention to are your posts, and then I'm gonna go into the blog, the blog page. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm also going to uh, let you take a look at a 404 page, okay? So I'm just gonna go to a page here that doesn't exist. And I just wanna, uh, so this is how it looks like. So notice what happens when I install a template. 
So I'm going to come over here now, click on these two arrows on the top here, click import, and then I'm going to look for my template. So my template is, should be somewhere here on my desktop and it's called Blogger Pro. And here it is. I'm going to click on my template here, click open. And then I'm going to import this template. It is going to take a while, but once it's installed, it's going to transform my website once and for all. So if you're a beginner and you are setting up your website and you don't want to mess around with learning how to design your blog and all the, you know, the theory of how to design a website, you can just use a template and just like that, you're up and running really, really, really fast. And this is what I like about this theme builder. So let me show you what's going to happen now, now that everything has been installed. So I'm going to save that. And this template is really powerful. It has your blog layout, archive pages, search results page, and so on. Now let's take a look here now at this post. So all I have to do now is to refresh this. So I'm going to hit refresh. There we go. You notice that the, this has completely changed our layout. Now we have our header here, which has our social media icons. This image here is beautiful. If I scroll, you can see it's fading out. And on the bottom here, we also have this sign up for the newsletter. Now, if you want to grow your mailing list, of course, it's advisable for anyone that's building a blog. You have this section here. All you have to do is to connect this to your uh, email service provider. In my case, I use ConvertKit and MailPoet. So all those integrations are there within Divi. And if I scroll all the way down here, you can see we have this read more and this beautiful layout here for more uh, suggested blog posts. Now, if you look on the bottom here, you can see we have this area here where your users can comment and it looks really nice. And then we have this beautiful minimal footer. So this is what you get with just a few clicks of installing this template. Now over here on the blog page, this is what it looked like. Now notice what happens when I refresh. There we go. Now we have a slider so I can go through all my blog posts here and this looks really, really beautiful. On the bottom here, we also have a beautiful layout of all our blog posts. And if I click on this one here, all these here have this image here, which have an overlay. Now here's the thing. If you install, I mean, if you add new blog posts on your website, they are going to have the same look and feel. So this is baked into the template itself. So this is what makes this really, really cool. So as you can see here, it's very consistent and it looks awesome. Now, remember, we had a page, a 404 page, and this is what it looks like by default. But now if I refresh this, notice what happens. We have a totally customized 404 page. You can add even more items here on this page. And if you click go to home page, this will take you back to your home page and it's dynamically added so you don't have to go in and hard code that home page of your website. So this is one of the reasons why I really, really, really like the theme builder. All right, now let's move on to the next uh, thing and the next here is the pricing. Now there's no theme builder out there that has a pricing which beats this Divi builder. So first of all, you can see here we have the $89 a year. Now this one here gives you access to Divi itself. It gives you access to Bloom and Monarch. Now these are extra plugins that you can add onto your blog to grow your mailing list and also to share your blog posts on social media. And over here we have 249 and this gives you a lifetime license, which means you'll get your access to Divi forever. So you can just get all the updates, you pay it once and that's it. There's no theme builder out there. Uh, Breezy doesn't do that. Elementor doesn't do that. Um, and all the other page builders out there cannot beat this price. So it's very, very, very good. And this is why I highly recommend this. And also, if you take a look here at the trust pilot, you can see the reviews are just amazing. This is a five star review. And this theme has been used on more than 600,000 websites out there. And majority of these people really, really love it. And there's also a lot of tutorials out there that teach you how to use Divi as well. And also if you buy Divi, as I mentioned earlier on, you'll get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi from scratch. So in my opinion, this is the best theme out there because it is highly customizable. You can use templates with it. It has a great pricing and the UI is very, very easy to use. And most important of all, you have split testing. Now split testing is very important to measure and see how your headlines are performing against each other. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you 
in the next video. Take care.